supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down Super welcome back to my channel and before I hop into this I want to say if you hear fussing um, baby in the background he's with his daddy he is totally fine we're just having a little bit of a cranky afternoon but I want to hop into another what's for dinner video these are so highly requested you guys love these videos so I'll link that playlist for you guys if you feel like binge watching but I'm gonna bring you guys with me all throughout the week and show you guys what we eat for dinner every single day and I'm filming this after the week is over if that makes sense um, and I kind of sucked at getting clips this week I did get like a good enough amount of clips you'll see everything um, but my mother-in-law ended up bringing over two huge things of leftovers she left them on her porch because quarantine she got a little carried away making some food so she had extras she dropped them off on her porch and we ate those this week and for one day this week we also ordered out fish and I've never shown you guys that but I talk about going out for fish every Friday so I finally got a clip for you guys me and Joe had fish and the girls had um, a cheese pizza. There we go. So you guys will see that clip as well. Super delicious, super yummy. Support your small businesses if you're able to during this time. Um, it's important to help keep the economy going. So that's what we're doing. And um, it's really good. So um, I'll show you guys a full week of meals and let's hop into it, shall we? We've got some regular white rice back here. And these little shiny dumplings. I just had a couple left. I wanted to get them out of my freezer. And then in here we have some green beans and some orange chicken cooking. This is my plate of orange chicken with the rice, two of the dumplings with some soy sauce, and then um, some of the green beans. Okay, so I'm totally sucking at my what's for dinner this week, but my mother-in-law dropped both of these off a couple days apart. I'm actually getting ready to dump these in bags and put them in my freezer. Um, but my mother-in-law has been baking and cooking a lot during the quarantine, trying to keep herself busy, and then she's been dropping these off on my front porch for us, but this is um, her baked mac and cheese, which is really, really good. I know she, like does the noodles obviously and then like Velveeta cheese, tomato juice, hamburger, diced tomatoes and then she bakes it. And this is boiled dinner. This is um, chunks of ham, cabbage, celery, potatoes, carrots and it all swims in like this vegetable chicken broth. It's honestly one of my favorite meals ever and that's why she um, dropped off such a big thing for us. But I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in baggies and get them in my freezer because <laughs> We can't, we can't eat all this. Like, we made a good dent in the mac and cheese, but not so much the boiled dinner. I'm, me and Lakin are both the only ones that eat the boiled dinner, so <laughs> this will be a really good meal for, like, or a lunch or something. Um, I think I'm going to put these in, like, sandwich baggies so there's l smaller portions, um, and put them in my freezer to heat them up, um, for me and Lakin for lunches or something, but super, super yummy, and some meals I didn't have to cook this week, so that's cool. One more chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I want you to know that I'm lost without you. I'm not without you. I hope I can show what you mean to me. Cause I don't know what to do if you go. Ooh, ooh. Selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough, but you're all I need. I take you places that you've never been. I would give you the world if you let me try again. Yeah, just give me one more chance. I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I want you to know. Soaked in like Italian herbs and stuff. Um, I like these ones better, but they didn't have the stewed ones that are soaked, so that's what I got this time. And then Aldi had a limit on two um, spaghetti sauces, that's why we're making our own this month. And then here I have a pound of Italian sausage, about a pound of hamburger, and then a whole diced onion, some garlic, and olive oil. So I added in all of my spices, the tomatoes, and now I just turned my burner on low and I'm just gonna let it simmer in the Dutch oven. Um, probably for about 
45 minutes until everything's warm. And I only ended up putting in one jar of tomato sauce because I don't think I could have fit another one in here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is an 8 quart um, Dutch oven. So it makes a ton of spaghetti sauce for like way more meals. Whatever we don't use, I'm just going to freeze. And my water's boiling, so I'm going to drop my pasta. And then last night, I ended up making buns. They look crazy. Because I don't know what, what ended up happening. But when they were rising, they all got bunched together. So it's kind of like bread, but it all tastes the same. So If you give me one more chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love having you guys be part of our crew here. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I give you guys behind the scenes and real life updates over there all the time. It's at Cassie and Crew. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.